Okay, my people, welcome to my world. Welcome to my proving grounds. Welcome to my attempt to do a remote desktop to another system. And here we go. And yes, we are in. Close that up. So, here's the situation there's a test unit. I really don't want to go looking for where the heck I put my product keys. This is annoying me. Actually, you can't see it, but I have a watermark here for Windows activation. And even if I don't want to activate it, I do want to remove the watermark, at least temporarily. So let's see what options have I got. I've done some trolling of Reddit and a couple of other places and I found a couple of different things and this one looks like it's the least amount of typing so I'm gonna go with that but first let's open up PowerShell and let's run that as an administrator now let's see if my copy paste skills are on point first Let's go here to the properties. Fonts. Let's crank that puppy up. Okay, that might be a little bigger than I planned on, but hey. Uh, let's see. This should make it a little bit easier to read. Okay, putting it in now. Okay. For those of you that are a little blind, like me, IRM, then we're going to go with this IP address, or internet address, HTTPS, get activated from win, dot .win, and it's an IEX. So, let's run it and see what happens. And now we're getting a command prompt window. And a little patience, please. Let's see what happens. And a little patience did happen here. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see it. And I can't move this one. Oh, yes, I can. Here it is. Okay, activation methods. Number one, for Windows. Number two, it's OHook method for Office. And you have a couple of others here. This one's like a trifecta, Windows Office, and something called ESU. I'll look it up later. Or if I just want to check for activation status, or if I want to change the Windows Edition or Office Edition, or if I just want to troubleshoot. Let's just go with, okay, choose the menu option. So I'm going to go with option one. Initializing, let's see if this works. And I'm getting an error. It doesn't look like it's going to accept it. Okay, use TS Forge Activation option for, from the main menu to reset evaluation period. Or follow all the above blue lines. Press 1 to open the support page. Press 0 to ignore. You know what? Let's press 0 and ignore this. Let's see what happens. Press any key to go back. Okay, that did not work. Let's try number three. TS Forge. Okay. Next option here. Select to activate Windows. Activate Windows ESU. Activate Office All. Activate Office Project Visio. Five, activate all. I'm kind of curious. But I don't want all of these. All I really want is just Windows, just to get the watermark out of my face. So let's try that. And here we go. Let's see what happens. It went through the registry count. Let's check the evaluation. 
And it looks like it found something. It's resetting. Grace period is successful. And now it's activating. Let's see if it errors out or not. Understand, I just don't really want to reinstall Windows on this tablet. This is just a tester. And the evaluation has been reset and activated successfully for about another 90 days. So yay! It's not permanent, but it suits my purpose. So press any key to go back. And I believe I'm probably going to have to just do a restart of this thing, see what happens. Well, you may have missed it, but I had to hit zero in order to go back, and then I had to hit zero in order to exit out of that command prompt application, and now I'm back here in PowerShell. And my next step is to close this out, and I will reboot, and we will see if this works. And thanks to my pausing skills, we have waited for the system to restart, and the results are now in. And the results are in, as I mentioned, and it is a fail. Could be something on my part. I'll have to do some more reading. And this is where we pick up. I thought it was a fail, but after I took a look, I went into the settings to look at the activation, and Windows is activated. So, it worked. Yay. So, in the description, I will actually write down the script, copy it, try it out, and um, hopefully... You're using this responsibly for your tests and your sandboxes. Have fun out there.